Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to show you how you can use JWT access tokens to basically protect a route and also I'll tell you how you can uh, access those routes with the help of creating the access tokens. So let's begin. So in the previous video, we have seen how we can basically use the JWT tokens and all the libraries and all the hashings for basically generating an access token and also returning it while we log in on our system. So I'll just show you how it works. So let me just turn my application on here and I'll just go here. All right, so I'll just reload it. Perfect. So we had created a user previously which was which had the username as user and the password as pass so i'm going to pass those arguments here and i'll just execute this query all right so as you can see i have got the response and we have got the access token inside the response as well so now we'll use this access token to basically protect a route and also with the help of this access token we'll use uh, we'll basically try to access that protected route and that should basically allow us to access the route because of our access token uh, authentication all right so let's begin so now for the jwt.py this was basically my file in which i had built my application so i'll just move forward and build and continue the continue to build the protected route here all right so first of all i'm going to import something which are, which are the optional from typing and now i can also import the header and the http exception and the status as well so that's going to be something like from fast api we can import header http exception and also the status all right perfect and now we can start building our protected route here so one more thing i had imported earlier was this which we're going to use now which is http authorization credentials from the fast api.security package all right so let's move forward so first of all what i'm going to do is i'm going to define a route so i'm just going to name it something like app dot route and that's going to be a protected route so i'm just going to name it something like protected and then we can move forward and define the route function here so that's going to be something like protected route and for this i'm going to pass in the parameters as first of all the http authorized uh, the authorization credential here so that's going to be https security i can just also pass it something like credentials which are basically going to be an object of http authorization so that's going to be authorization and uh, one more second one just all right so that's going to be an object of this and this is going to be dependent on the security all right so let's move forward and after this what we can do is First of all, let's just check if credentials exist or not, because then it will be of no sense to move forward. So if it does not exist, then I'm going to raise an exception, which is something like creds missing or something like that. And then we can move forward with our next condition. So the next condition is basically when we have got the credentials here. So for this, I'm just going to raise the 403 error here because we were not provided with the credentials. All right. So now let's move forward. Mm, so moving forward we can have a token here the token is going to be the credentials dot credentials which is basically the access token we which we pass inside the argument there and then we can have the payload which is going to be the decoded access token for a token so we're going to use the decode access token function here which we created in the previous video in the auth utils file here all right perfect moving forward we can now check if payload exists or not if it does not then we can raise another exception which is going to be invalid or expired token it can also be expired because currently the token is valid for 30 minutes only moving forward if it is all right that means we have uh, got a valid uh, token and then we can now successfully return the message here which is going to be something like protected route accessed and also we can get the access of the user with the payload sub uh, parameter here because as we have defined earlier the create access token takes the input as the data which is the dictionary of sub so the sub is basically the user which we are using to authenticate all right so this should be able to get us the access to the protected route so let's see if it works or not all right so i'll just start the application again and it has started up perfectly so let's just check it out just a little typo here i had to write app.get instead of app.route so let's just wait for this to start up now all right all right, so it has started up so let's see how it looks like and as you can see we have gotten a protected route here so i'll just click on here and for this as you can see i if i click on try it out here i don't have to pass any parameters here 
rather i have to pass parameters right here which is authorize so for this let's just try first of all logging inside our system so i'm going to use the try it out here and i'm going to use the user and the pass which are the correct credentials for our user all right perfect so we have got the access token here so i'm just going to copy this access token and let's try to access the protected route using this token now all right so just i'll just enter the token here and just click on authorize here and perfect so we have been able to authorize uh, inside the system so that's that's why it says log out here so i'll just close it for now and i'll just execute it here and that just says protected route access for now if i click on authorize and now click on log out it will not allow us to access this route so let's just test it out and it says not authenticated perfect so that's how you can basically use jwt tokens access tokens to basically um, build a protected route and also use access tokens from the response to access those protected routes inside your fast api so that's it for the video guys and thanks for watching